Did you know that 90% of Asian, Black, and Arab men say they feel overlooked dating outside of the race? I'm about to give you the five steps to flip the script and turn that disadvantage into a superpower. Now, after eight years of testing and teaching this to thousands globally, here's the cheat code. It's not about fitting in. Try to do that and you lose. This is about unleashing exactly who you are, making it impossible to reject you. As a black man, I thought I'd be boxed into the athlete or gangster stereotype. But when I lean into being an intellectual, everything changed. I've seen others do the same and get undeniable results. But here's the thing, unless you get these five steps right, you'll keep facing that same rejection. Step one, identify what sets you apart. Two, communicate your interests with confidence. Three, embrace cultural quirks or jokes that define you. Four, show authentic confidence, not arrogance. And five, be genuinely curious about others. These steps bring the right people to you. Want more dating insights like this? Like the video and follow for more. Let me know in the comments which step resonates with you the most. Ever felt like your race is this invisible wall that's holding you back in social situations? Like no matter what you do, people instantly see you through a filter you can't shake off. Well, you're not alone. I was right there with you thinking, if I'm Asian or I'm black or I'm Indian, will they even get my type? But here's the truth. You're stuck with that race for your life. If you don't learn how to flip the script and make it work for you, you're gonna end up smashing to the same wall over and over again. Let me tell you, that's frustrating, lonely, and a road you don't wanna be on. Here's where most people mess up. They think the solution to try to escape these stereotypes is to fight against them and fit into some kind of other mold. But let me be real with you. If you don't figure out how to flip the script and make them work for you, they'll keep boxing you in day after day, person after person. But when I cracked the code, when I learned who I actually was and to tap into that, it was like a heavy weight just fell off my shoulders. Suddenly, people were connecting with me, the real me. But here's the catch, okay? There's a method to this, a set of steps that you can do, you can't skip. If you get them wrong, you will stay stuck in that loop. Get them right, and you'll start pulling in people who vibe with you on a real level. So stick with me, because if you don't nail this, you'll keep facing that rejection and frustration. All right, let's get into it. Here's what I realized. People love the whole black culture vibe thing. The swagger, the style, the attitude, but I didn't fit that stereotype at all. I wasn't the athlete, the rapper, or the bad boy. I was the intellectual guy who loved deep conversations, philosophy, psychology. And at first I thought, how's this gonna work for me? Because I didn't fit into the image people expected. But that was my advantage. See, trying to fake a stereotype, that wasn't me putting it on a people in a way. The moment I own my real personality, the intellectual deep thinker, that's when people started seeing me for who I really was. And that's what I want for you, to find that power in what makes you different. Here's the thing, if you're holding back, people will feel it instantly. When you walk into a room unsure of yourself, it's like having a closed sign on your forehead right there. Insecurity, people can sense it. It's like a shark smells blood and they'll get rid of you. Embracing your personality means showing up fully without any apology, bringing all of your quirks and your interests to the surface, whether it's philosophy, nutrition, or that hobby that you think no one else will understand. I have a friend, okay, we'll call him John, and he's all about emo music and uh, dark humor. Not my favorite, but at first I thought, what's up with that? But people love him, why? Because he's comfortable being himself. That makes other people around him feel comfortable too. Now, is that a coincidence? No, it's magnetic and it comes from owning every single part of who you are. All right, so now you're starting to see how powerful these steps can be when it comes to breaking down those barriers and making real connections. Now you could take everything I've covered so far and try to apply it yourself. And honestly, if you nail every part, you'll see some really big changes. But here's the thing, it is usually easier said than done, it took me years to crack this formula and get working like clockworks. That's why I created a hands-on bootcamp where I work with you face-to-face -to, -face to lock this in. I'm talking about intense personal training sessions that are happening live in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, Austin, Texas, 
Medellin, Toronto, and Montreal. And if you're serious about mastering this, then check out the link below for all the details. And if you want a taste of what I am going to be covering there, I'm also running a free live webinar that happens this Sunday, 7 p.m. New York, that's Eastern Standard Time. I'll be diving deep, answering questions, and giving you an action plan you can actually start using immediately, friends, all right? So the link is in the description and pinned to the top of the chat. Don't miss it, trust me, you wanna be there. Step three, high risk, high reward. Now here's where it gets real, being unapologetically yourself. It's the high risk, high reward. When you put yourself out there, authentic, you're gonna attract people who vibe with you on a whole new level. But here's the catch, okay? It's not gonna work for everybody, and that's okay. Trying to appeal to everyone is playing it safe, and the safe will make you bland and get service level connections. See, I don't care about connecting with just anyone. I'm looking for the right people, people who see me, whose energy resonates. Those are the connections that make all of this really worthwhile. So step four is adding humor and exaggerating the stereotypes. Once you're fully comfortable being yourself, here's the fun part right now. You can even start playfully leaning into the stereotypes to break down the walls. I'll th say things like, girl, in my country, you'd be worth three cows and two chickens because I'm African, right? You have no idea, I tell her. Or I'm not a gangster rapper, but I'll definitely take you on a romantic day, right? That kind of humor. It shows being comfortable with who I am and I'm not afraid to laugh at the stereotypes. When you can laugh at things that used to make you feel insecure, you take the power away completely. Humor is more powerful because it relaxes people. It's like saying, I know who I am. I don't take myself too seriously. Then step five, exaggerating the humors. So if you're Indian, maybe your line is, I have the best curry in the world. I kill 30 virgins for someone like you. Or if you're Muslim, you go, my love is the bomb. I'll go Taliban on that ass. Like if you're Chinese, something about, I got the best egg roll to go with that wonton sauce. Just saying something like that, okay? It doesn't really matter. It's all in good fun. And it shows that you're confident enough to make jokes about things that others might make them self-conscious, right? That's the power of shock humor. It lightens up the mood, makes people laugh, and breaks down the walls that usually keep people apart. So here's what I want you to remember. Your personality and your racial identity are assets, not barriers. Own who you are, your quirks, your culture, your interest, and put it out there without apology. Don't hold back because you think people might not accept you, but the right ones will, and they're only ones that you even want in your life. But here's the thing. There's something I didn't tell you at the start of this video, okay? So listen closely. Everything you learn today will work only if you truly understand how to be authentic in every single interaction, all right? Without that, all this is just service level. So click on the video in the right or left side up here to go deeper into authenticity and learn how to make these strategies work for you. And don't forget to subscribe. Do that, all right? Because we're just getting started on this journey and I'll see you in the next one.